Okay. You are here because of that other video that got way more traction than I would have ever expected. And that video was honestly created to help you understand a Lightroom workflow. But if your disk is full right now, then that video doesn't really help. I totally get that. God, that sounded so millennial. But let's go fix it. All right, so let's start with why our disk is full. Your disk is full for a combination of two things. It is where we are, it's how you are importing your images and also how you're deleting them. So for starters, something that we need to remember is that Lightroom is essentially an application on our computer and which we use to view and make changes to files that are being stored somewhere else, right? Our, our images, our raw images, they're not being stored on Lightroom. We are using Lightroom as a tool to edit um, and to view those. So in order to better understand that, let's talk about importing them incorrectly. So what you are likely doing is you are importing. You are selecting whatever it is that you want to be imported. And then you'll notice over here on the right, it is telling us that they're going to be imported to the Macintosh hard drive under the users, the name, the pictures. This is how Lightroom is going to automatically set it up when you open Lightroom for the first time and you're ready to go. A lot of photographers um, are going to start off here without realizing it and then they're not going to understand why their disk is getting full so fast. It's because you are actually importing your photos to your hard drive. So let's talk about getting those off of our hard drive. So right here in this Lightroom catalog, we've got six images. So let's just go ahead and say that first, I'm gonna give you an example of how to do it properly, and then I'm gonna show you what happens when we do it incorrectly. So for starters, if I'm to hit delete, we do not want to remove it from Lightroom. We wanna remove it from the entire hard drive. So you would hit delete from disk. However, I know that like most people, we want to hit delete and we want to hit enter. And when we do that, it's going to remove from Lightroom. So let's go ahead and click remove from Lightroom. They are now done. I'm looking at an empty Lightroom catalog and yet you're still getting disk full alert and you have no freaking idea why. It's because you can't see the images, but they're still there. So let's talk about where they are and how to um, delete those permanently if you've been doing it incorrectly. All right, so you realize you've been doing it incorrectly this whole time. That freaking sucks. So where are those images and how do we get rid of them? So if you'll remember back here on our input, our import screen, you're going to see that they were going to Macintosh, user, Morgan, pictures. Cool. So we're going to follow that trail, right? We're going to go to our Macintosh, we're going to go to Users, Morgan, Pictures, and then we're going to come over here. And you're going to see the Lightroom catalog that we've been using right here, but you're also going to see the years above. This is how it imports whenever you import to the hard drive. It's going to import it by the date. So those flower photos that we started with were taken uh, back on June 18th. So when we click these, they should be gone but they're not. They're still in here, which means that when we remove them from our Lightroom, we did just that. We only removed them from Lightroom. Go ahead, let's delete it. We can get rid of these permanently. All right, I'm just gonna grab that and go ahead and drag it over to our trash. And now when we go to our trash, they're actually there where they're supposed to be. So here's the thing. If your disk is full, you need to come through here and check your folders because likely you're going to find images in there that you thought that you had deleted. All right, so what if you have been deleting your images correctly the whole time, but your hard drive or your disk is still telling you that it's full? Then it is time for you to move all of these images to an external hard drive or to your cloud drive, etc., because they are 
on your hard drive and they are taking up too much space and you cannot part with any of the images here. It's time to move them and then it's time to move to a Lightroom workflow that is going to prevent this from ever happening again. Okay guys, so hopefully now you've got a video to help you if your disc is full or a video to help you prevent it from ever happening again because you've created yourself a solid Lightroom workflow. Uh, but make sure that you also subscribe below and that you go in the description because in the description you're going to find a link to our Facebook group where a whole bunch of ADHD photographers who are running successful businesses and sometimes just need help with the back end stuff um, or how to create a business that works for us and not that we are working in. Come join us. Come hang out with us. I love helping. I love brainstorming and solving all of the problems. So I hope to see you guys there and until then, take care.